Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. Um, make NBA DFS videos now, making prize picks videos. Um, yeah, I've been playing professional DFS for a few years now, looking to help you guys in the prop markets. Um, <clears throat> DFS, you know, kind of where you, you know, enter a contest, compete for a top prize up at the top. Like, this is, the, this is my lineup tonight. Um, you can play showdown contests. You can play whole bunch of stuff um but yeah looking to help you guys in the prop market and uh let's recap the video from uh, last night <laughs> last night we full swept the board once again um i mean it's just an everyday thing now and i don't know what to say it's been absolutely insane clocks and points that hit gafford pra that hit k pra that hit demar points or assists and rebounds that hit. or no we did, i didn't give you guys demar but, um, yeah, those three hit. I took DeMar assistant rebounds um, after. Um, we took all these on Sportsbook, so we went 4-0 on Books today. And then my main picks today, we went 3-3. Three and three. So, overall, it was a 7-3 and three day for me. Um, but we swept the YouTube videos. So, um, yeah, really good day overall. Um, it's been absolutely insane. And if you're looking for more DFS content, Sportsbooks content, prize picks content... I'll have my Discord link down below. Uh, got a ton of stuff coming up. Um, so let's get into the picks. And these are going to be kind of disgusting. Uh, but we're going to go to Kyle Kuzma. We're going to be taking the under on his PRA here at 35 and a half. Let's go to the matchup here. First off, they're playing Miami. Um, let me see what the spread is. Miami Heat versus Wizards. I didn't even look at the spread, but there's all okay. They're nine and a half point favorites. So, uh, whatever you're taking unders, there's a lot more outs to unders than there are overs. So, the first pick here, we're going to be taking Kyle Kuzma under 35 and a half PRA. The reason I like this pick is here, like I said, there's blowout risk here going up against Miami. The Wizards, they're god, god, god awful. But if we get into matchups here, Miami, they do not give up a lot of points to opposing power forwards. They do not give up a ton of rebounds to opposing power forwards. You guys know Miami, one of the better defensive teams in the league. Where are they? Here's Miami. All the way down here, they don't give up a ton of assists to opposing power forwards as well. Now, could they start Kuzma at the five in this spot? Sure, I guess. Um, but I don't think it's going to change too much. Um, so really bad matchup here going up against Miami. You have a decent amount of blow risk here going up against Miami. This this prop is also juiced on the under as well. Really bad matchup. Um, if we go over to and just look at the pace of this game, obviously Washington, they are first in league in pace. But as we know, Miami, they are bottom of the league in pace. And their overall defensive rating, they are eighth in defensive rating as a team. So that's going to be the first prop there. The next prop, we're going to be going to Herb Jones. We're going to be taking his points at nine and a half here. And the reason I like this prop is let's go over to the Pelicans. Let's go over to Herb Jones here. In competitive games, he's playing over 30 minutes. Obviously, they kind of need him out there. He's, a, he's out there a lot for his defense, right? Um, but averaging 11 points per game on the year. Now, if we go to his individual matchup here up against Atlanta, we'll do it both ways, shooting forward, power forward. Atlanta, that gives up the fourth most points to shooting forwards. They also give up the third most points to opposing power forwards as well. This is juiced on the under, or over, sorry. So you have a matchup here that's top three in the league um, for Herb Jones' um, respective position. He should play over 30 minutes in a competitive game. Like I said, they need him out there for defense, etc. Definitely a little bit of low at risk here, I would say. I haven't looked at the spread for this game, but Atlanta is pretty bad, especially with no Trey Young. Juiced on the over as well. Um, pace of this game, as far as Atlanta goes, they play really, really fast. They are fourth in pace. Um, the Pelicans, where are they? Are they up this year? 16th in pace. And if we go over to overall defensive rating, Atlanta, they're pretty bad in defensive rating as well. So, yeah, those are going to be two picks. Hopefully, you guys had a good night. Hopefully, you guys had another profitable night. Seems like it's a recurring theme around here. Um, and hopefully, these two picks hit again. We can um, sweep again. So, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.